Terraform Labs co-founder Du Quan has claimed that Korean authorities haven't contacted or filed any charges against him in the Terra investigation. Terraform Labs co-founder Du Quan has reportedly hired a lawyer from a domestic law firm in South Korea just days after claiming the South Korean authorities are yet to reach out to him or file any charges against him. According to a local media report, Kwan recently submitted a letter of appointment to an attorney at the Seoul Southern District Prosecutor's Office, the department that is currently investigating the Terra Luna, now renamed Terra Classic, LUNC, collapse. While Kwan claims no charges were filed against him, prosecutors in South Korea behind the investigation of Terraform Labs reportedly executed a search and seizure in 15 firms in the third week of July. It includes seven crypto exchanges linked to now defunct terrorist collapse. Prosecutors reportedly notified Kwan, who was staying in Singapore, and banned the departure of key people. South Korean authorities began an investigation into the $40 billion Terra ecosystem collapse soon after the ecosystem's implosion in May. The first action came towards the end of May when the authorities decided to form a new crypto oversight committee to avoid terror like incidents in the future. Later, CEO Kwan was sued and accused of fraud and violating several financial acts. In June, the authorities began a formal investigation into the incident and found Terraform Labs guilty of tax evasion and market manipulation. Prosecutors in the country banned Terraform Lab employees from leaving the country. The TerraUSD collapse and implosion of a $40 billion ecosystem had a catastrophic impact on the larger ecosystem. The incident later led to a crypto contagion that claimed several crypto lenders and hedge funds.